Instagram is not the only place for beautiful visuals. Bring that same scroll-stopping vibe to your website with Expro's Advanced Gallery widget. It lets you beautifully show off the collection of your images with filters. And maybe you want title and caption on each image and even a little mini gallery when you click. Or maybe you're more into those smooth filter transition with just a simple icon overlay and a nice load more at the bottom. Yep, you can do that too. And if you're all about that, you know, minimal grid layout with interactive hovers and SVGs instead of captions, Expro's Advanced Gallery Widget lets you do all that beautifully and easily without touching a single line of code. Okay, so first up, I'm deleting this section so I can have a fresh canvas and clean start. So over in the Elementor panel, type in Advanced Gallery, the one from Expro, drag it in and we're live. Now, do you see these filters up top? Each one acts like a category. It can be wedding, the travel, or whatever fits your profile. So here's what we will do. Start with one filter and delete the extra to keep things tidy. Click on this first one, give it a name, and upload an image. For me, it's a highlight short from one of my birthday clients. Now, just a heads up. If you want the caption and description to actually show on your image later, this is the time to add them. You won't see them just yet, but don't worry. I will show you how to bring those in a bit later. And that's your first category. All right, moving on, see this little duplicate icon. That's how you can quickly add more images to the same filter. For example, if this is your birthday decor filter, you can upload all the related shorts from different events here. Now, a cool thing. Click on any one image and look for this option here, create gallery. So basically, this lets you attach a full set of images to that one thumbnail. So just select all the images from that event and create the gallery. Now, when a visitor click on that single photo, they won't just see one image. They will see the entire shoot in a clean, scrollable pop-up. Super fun, right? Okay, now it's time to add another filter. Hit add item. I will name mine party decor or maybe another one for wedding decor. Same process, upload the image, attach a gallery and so on. You can add as many filters as you want and each one becomes its own little visual story. Okay, now let's switch gears and look at layouts. This is where things start to take shape. Expro gives you grid, masonry, and mosaic layout. Each one changes how your gallery looks and flow on the page. Okay, so I personally like masonry because it keeps the original images size and stack everything neatly. Now, one quick tip here. To get your images to sit better in the layout, you can shuffle the filters a bit. It helps them adjust properly. Don't worry, shuffling doesn't mess with your actual images inside the filters. They all stay right where they are. All right, now hop over to the advanced tab. This is where you fine tune how many images show per row, like three, four, or more depending on your layout. I usually turn off this icon option here just to keep it cleaner. Then the toggle on the caption and description. This is the part where the title and descriptions you added earlier finally show up on hover. It makes a big difference. Okay, next scroll down to your filter option. Now here you get to control how the filter bar looks and behaves. So my design needs a show all filter, but if you want to turn that off, yeah, go ahead. Because when you disable it, only the individual category shows. Totally depends on your layout style. All right, now a fun little touch, filter animation. These are the transition that plays when someone switches between filters. You got options like slide, fade, zoom. They are subtle but make things feel smooth and professional. Just try a few and see what fits your vibe. Now let's take a second to look at the pop-up settings. This is what happens when someone click on an image. Here's what you will notice as you switch between different pop-up styles, the background changes too. Like one option opens the gallery on a full black screen, another gives you a soft blur background and you know, so on. So just explore a few, pick the one that feels right for your design. Now, over in the style tab, 
you will find full control to design everything individually. The captions, description, filter, each one has its own set of styling options. So let's open the overlay setting and right here, flip on the hover effect switch. This one is a game changer. I love it. You got fade, zoom, lift, slide, all this set of effect that really make the image pop. It's not just about looking cool, it's invite people to actually interact with the gallery. And if you want to style the caption, you can totally do that too. Change the font, size, color, whatever works with your brand. You can also adjust the margin so the description sits nicely over the image and doesn't feel cramped. Now, scroll down to the filter styling. Here's where you can really give your filter tab some personality. So again, adjust the typography you want for your filter, plus you can set how each filter looks in its normal state, on hover, or when it's active. Choose your text colors, background, borders, and match it all to your site theme. Then just fine tune the item paddings. That's the space around your filter, so everything feels balanced and spaced out. I'm following my own design vibe here, but there's so much more to play with. Now go ahead, try the Expo Advanced Gallery widget and see how it levels up your portfolio in just minutes.